So good evening, welcome to all our friends, old and new, uh, from KCSC, the King Center for Strategic Communications, which is situated in the Department of War Studies at uh, King's College London. Uh, my name is Neville Bolt, I'm the director of the center, and before we move on, I should actually also welcome you on behalf of the Creel Agency and Hart and Park Investments, who have generously supported this event this evening. So our thanks to them, and our thanks to you for joining us. So we're entering our third year of life at the center. Our ambition is to create the, and I stress the word the, in uppercase, the global hub for networks of academics, policymakers, and practitioners, for thinkers and doers across multiple populations and disciplines, for all to come together and share fresh ideas. <clears throat> so we chose to host this event in the celebrated Bush House. This building was, as you're no doubt aware, for nearly a century, the home of the BBC World Service. And it, too, spoke to millions, if not billions, of listeners and showcased some of the finest minds in the world. Its reputation and authority were developed over a long time, building trust and building friendship between strong <coughs> voices and often discordant opinions. So tonight, we prefer to look into the future rather than back into history. We want to look forward to what promises to be, is promise the right word, or is it threatens to be, decades of turbulence in global politics. And it's therefore all the more imperative that all of us gathered in this room tonight explore the innovative ways in which states and state challengers speak to one another and to their populations. <clears throat> Indeed, that we apply a greater vision, a greater insight than has been the case to date. And we've taken that word vision quite literally. This evening we're acknowledging a shift in the way populations engage with politics, the way they see conflict increasingly through the screen of a mobile or smartphone or a laptop. And the feelings they experience towards images of war that saturate the global media space that's all around us. However, <coughs> we all see and we all feel in different ways. Tonight, eight speakers from diverse walks of life will each choose a single image which they feel best captures their thoughts and feelings around conflict. And their statement is a very personal one. In all cases, their image is designed to reveal and to provoke. In order of appearance, the novelist Caroline Brothers, author of Hinterlands and Memory Stones, draws on her fiction and her non-fiction as well, yeah? Uh, to inform an understanding of her chosen image, selecting the topic, writing about conflict. And then there's theatre director James Yateman, who brings his artistic experience from New York and London, from the stages of the National, the Almeida, the Royal Court, just to name a few, to illuminate a striking image under the rubric theatre, of conflict. And the war artist Jules George treats us to one of his own works. It reflects his experiences with British troops serving in Afghanistan. And the theme, capturing conflict, takes us to the heat and dust of the front line and beyond. Then there's managing director of Kruger Khan Talent Agency. Adrian Sington, who's tackling celebrities of conflict 
And that juxtaposition of words, celebrity and conflict in itself, I think, is very intriguing. And then as head of fine and decorative art at the National Army Museum for 30 years, Jenny Spencer Smith is perfectly placed to explore the past and the theme of remembering conflict. And while Charlie Winter, where's Charlie? Senior researcher, special, who, uh, Charlie specializes in imagery in the area of Islamic militant groups. At the International Center for the Study of Radicalization and Political Violence. And he's going to talk to the teasing topic of translating conflict. And then finally, a young woman in her first year of study at King's, Isabella Garcia, brings what she calls fresh eyes on conflict. And fittingly, fresh eyes seem all too often absent in this age of <coughs> myopia. So each of our guests is going to speak to her or his chosen image for five minutes only. But they all invite you to join them in further conversation afterwards and to hear your thoughts over drinks and refreshment. So we welcome you and we welcome all our speakers to the kaleidoscope of conflict. Thank you.